What's up guys? Tuesday, two days before Thanksgiving. Had to make a run to Columbia this morning. So while I'm down here, I'm gonna mark one of the spots off my list. Pot Smoker Barbecue. Uh, Pot Smoker Barbecue is in the building that Flying Saucer was in. It's the, the, the building to the left of there. You'll see the signs, you'll see the trailer, the car. Um, so it's right here in the Vista, right behind Hickory Tavern and, and only a block away or so from the uh, Columbia Convention Center and the Colonial Center. So I walked in, I ordered a pork plate, two sides, piece of bread. And after I ordered, the dude walked in with like six racks of ribs and I don't know why I didn't just get the pork and rib platter. That's normally my go-to. I'm, I'm not a rib aficionado, but I know what a good rib is and i wish i would have got the combo just to have a couple ribs to try but anyway so combo 11 11 25 barbecue two sides and a piece of light bread you get a piece of light i mean you gotta have a piece of light bread if you're in the south you know that's just what i'm where i'm at with that heap of barbecue like a pound of barbecue or uh, the homemade potato salad looks like it's got some bacon in there um and then the hash and rice as well. And the piece of light bread, which for me, I mean, you're getting bonus points right off the get with, with, the, with the light bread. A lot of people don't do it, but you should. I mean, it don't cost very much, but you gotta have a piece of bread you eat barbecue. I went with their, uh, <clears throat> their mustard base, mustard, brown sugar, black pepper. I think they had one called Help me, Jesus. It's like a Chipotle. I imagine it must be hot. I wasn't ready for all that at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. So I just went with the basic old mustard. It's what I grew up on. I know what good mustard is. I like vinegar base. I'm not a mustard, I mean, I'm not a ketchup based guy at all. But um, anyway, mix this sauce up in here. Like I said, heaping portion of uh, pulled pork. Pulled up, chopped up real thin, easy to eat. Sauce smells good. So let's see. Oh yeah, man. That's good barbecue. Good sauce. I like barbecue chopped up that thin. It's just almost thin like the hash. I like that. I don't like the hard chunks. I don't like the gristle. It's good barbecue. You got good smoke taste. Not overwhelming. Not like, you know, it was out there in the smoke cloud. It's got a good, fresh cooked taste on some wood. And good barbecue sauce. It's, it's, I say this is not disrespectful at all. It's pretty plain which is good. There's not a overly smoky taste. There's not a strong, uh, overly vinegary taste in the sauce. It's good barbecue. All right, I'm gonna go to this potato salad. Looks well, good. Like I say, got a, got a bunch, of, bunch of stuff in here. Big chunks of potatoes. Cheese in it. That's really good, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ain't, um, that's some uh, higher end type potato salad. That's some De Prieto's type potato salad. That ain't at the uh, local Baptist church. That's a step above. That's good. That's good potato salad right there. I like it. Hash. We all know I'm kind of finicky on hash. Um, grew up with one of the best hash makers in the world, Hammy Moat. I don't care what you say. It's the best hash that's ever made. Best barbecue hash I've ever had. Had it all over the place. Um, this is this looks like an in-between hash. Got a little tint to it, like the PD. But it still looks kind of like Kershaw County. 
take a bite of that Wonder Bread. Well, I'm tell you, you don't realize how good a piece of light bread is, especially with a barbecue plate. If you're watching this and you sell barbecue and you want to make the best presentation you can, buy a loaf of bread and throw one piece in there. They don't call it, I mean, a loaf of bread is what? $2, $3, and you get 30, 40 pieces. I mean, it comes down to pennies. But it's a great presentation. And you got to have it. Places don't have light bread, make me shake my head. Anyway, here comes the hash. Hash and rice is, is a side. See that little orangish brownish uh, tint to it? Not bad. It's a little mellow. Does it have a taste? To me, man, with the rice, I don't know. It's got a Brunswick stew kind of taste. Which ain't bad. But it's not what I was expecting. Hmm. Good. Good meal. 11 bucks. Plenty of food. I mean, you get two pieces of bread and make you a sandwich. Still have barbecue left over. Potato salad and hash. They got they got several other sides as well. Two girls in front of me got chicken wings. So extensive menu for the kids. I think they got chicken tenders for the kids or the millennials who don't eat nothing but chicken tenders. They got chicken tenders. And like I said, a hot dog. I kind of grew up my hot dog stage because I want to try everything else, especially good barbecue. This is good barbecue. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Still regret not getting a rib, rib on the side there. But, all right. Potato salad is unique. The barbecue's chopped up good. The mushrooms got a good flavor. Nothing really just jumps out. Like, you know, slap your mama good. But it's a good basic meal. Barbecue and two sides. Piece of light bread. 11 bucks. It's hard to beat. Like I said, you can make two two big barbecue sandwiches, maybe two and a half out of the uh the barbecue you get. Potato salad is unique. And the hash and rice is above average. It's not great. Doesn't have a lot of a uh, hearty flavor like some of the uh, liver hashes do. But it's good. It's serviceable. So, for me, pot smoker barbecue in the Vista, easy access to downtown, the convention center, the colonial center, pretty good meal. I give them an eight three. I think that's fair. Like I said, nothing just knocks your socks off, but it's a good meal. All three were good. And throw in a piece of light bread, which I can't tell you enough how important that is for country folks. So, Pot Smoker Barbecue, Senate Street, Old Flying Saucer Building, Barbecue, Ribs, Brisket, Chicken, Chicken Wings. If you're in the area, want to try something new, give it a shot. If you try it, let me know how those ribs are. Ribs are good, I'll come back and try them again. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a, a happy and safe Thanksgiving. May even do a, a review Thanksgiving morning if I can find the spot. It's got the uh, the Thanksgiving menu. But uh, be safe. Thanks for watching. See y'all again soon.